Hello everyone, welcome to Accessing Ancestry from Home with PDL. My name is Catherine and I will show you how to access Ancestry from Home today. Now, if you're familiar with the genealogy database Ancestry, you'll know that usually you have to come to the library to access this fantastic resource. However, Ancestry considered everything going on and they have decided to provide you access to Ancestry from home with your Portage District Library card. This special access will last through the end of the year and it might possibly last for longer, but we'll keep you updated about that. All you'll need to access Ancestry from home is your Portage District Library resident card and you'll be able to use it to find documents um, about your personal or family history, including census, birth, marriage, and death records. If you have questions about accessing Ancestry from home, feel free to email us at aref1 at portagelibrary.info or give the library a call. We're happy to help. So let's go ahead and try accessing Ancestry from home. Now you'll want to start at the library website, which if you're unfamiliar with that is portagelibrary.info. So once you go there, it will bring you to our home screen. And on our home screen, we have a tab called Digital Library. It's right here in the middle of the screen. And you'll want to click on that in order to go to our online resources. So let's go ahead and click Digital Library. Now this will bring you to our most popular online resources, which happen to be ebooks and e audiobooks. However, we want to get to Ancestry, which is considered a research category. And research is filed under the e-reference tab. We do this because if you were to ask a family history or genealogy question at the information desk, we would consider it a reference question. So we'll go ahead and click on the e-reference tab, which is on the right hand side of the screen here. And we've now made it to our research page for online resources. As you can see, we have all sorts of online resources that you can access from home to um, research different topics. Today, we're focusing on ancestry. So that would be under the genealogy category down here or you could access it by name under the complete list or the A through E list. The databases will be listed in alphabetical order. But let's go ahead and click on the genealogy tab. This brings us to our online genealogy page and you'll notice we have two resources available. One of them, of course, is Ancestry and the other is MyHeritage Library Edition. My Heritage is provided by the Michigan eLibrary system, and it's also another wonderful um, genealogy resource. You can actually access this one from, at any time from home. So we are going to focus on Ancestry today and that special access for 2020. So let's go ahead and click on Ancestry Library Edition. And this will bring us to the sign-in page. To make sure you're a Portage District Library card holder, it's going to ask you for your library card number and your PIN. Now, your library card number, if you look at the card, it's blue on the front. And then if you turn it over, there's a barcode and a very long number on the back. That is your library card number, and that's what you're going to want to put in the first box. The second box is your PIN number. Now this is a special four digit code and usually set to the last four digits of your phone number. So that's what you'll wanna put in the second box. And once you click log in, it brings you to this screen, which looks a little scary. Um, it's just a big long list of uh, hyperlinked resources, but what this screen does is tells the computer that you are accessing Ancestry through the library. So it's something we had to do to make sure that you could access Ancestry from home. To find Ancestry, we go to this big long list on the left hand side here, and Ancestry is about a third of the way down. 
we'll go ahead and it's right here under Gail Newbank and we'll go ahead and click on Ancestry Library. And that's all there is to it. We've now accessed Ancestry Library Edition from home. You can use Ancestry Library Edition to search census, vital, military and immigration records specifically, or you can click the Begin Search tab and do a general search for any information you're looking for. It's a fantastic resource for family history, and I hope you have fun making your family tree from home. Thank you for tuning in to this video today. I hope you learned how to access Ancestry from home. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the library. We are always happy to help. Thank you for joining us today.